I love a fresh take on a classic sandwich, and this turkey cranberry croque monsieur is definitely that. This is nothing like a traditional croque monsieur. To start, you make a really quick cranberry jam. This is almost like a marmalade. It has the whole orange in it, rind and all, making it a really delicious take for a jam. On toasted bread, you layer some mustard, turkey, smoked gouda, and this cranberry jam. Put together, this fresh take is gonna be a new classic in your house. This is a perfect bite or meal, and it's time for Christmas, all coming up on today's Wise Guide. If you follow me, you know that I love Christmas. All holidays are great, but there is nothing like a good Christmas party. I love to throw a festive get together where friends can come over, there's good food, there's cheer, and there's just some good times to talk and have fun. I've been getting the house ready, and yes, I always get it ready early because I go a little bit over the top. You know what, you gotta enjoy what you love, and I definitely love Christmas. All the Christmas videos I'm bringing to you are gonna be based on these wonderful quick bites that you can eat at a party or just have for a meal. They're delicious enough, you're gonna to wanna to have them all the time. You can just choose one of these bites to make or you can be just like me and have this whole menu at your party. Either way, I can't wait for you to come to mine. This sandwich is based on this delicious cranberry jam that is really almost like a marmalade. To start, you just wanna take your fresh cranberries. You could also use frozen. Either way, they're just gonna be cooked into a jam so it doesn't matter. Dump them right into your kettle. Then just cut up an orange. Usually, I just maybe add some orange zest and orange juice, but in this case, I like to add the rind and all. I know you're gonna be thinking, um, that's bitter. One, you could use a car car orange that's gonna have less of a rind, a little bit thinner, but we are cooking it with sugar and we are cooking it for long enough that that bitterness is really gonna be cooked out and you're gonna get more of this marmalade texture, which I love. You get some of the pieces of the rind. It is absolutely delicious. So just cut it up into small pieces. If you happen to get an orange that has some seeds, make sure to discard those, because, well, no one wants a seed. Once it's chopped up fine, you can just add it to your cranberries. Finish with some sprigs of fresh rosemary. I don't like to just chop it up and put it in in this case. Just put the whole sprig in, and then we can take it out later. And then some sugar. Yes, you definitely need to cut all that tartness and bitterness with the sugar. Once that's added, just place it on the stove, stir it together, and let it come to a boil. When it's at a boil, you can just turn it down to a simmer and let it cook. At this point, I just put the lid on, and you wanna stir it every so often to make sure it's not sticking, but it takes quite a while to cook. Okay, actually, it doesn't really take that long, but you know what I mean. Just keep stirring, check on it, and soon all those cranberries are gonna be burst open, their pectin is gonna be released, it's gonna be thicker, and it's gonna be like an instant jam. This is seriously the easiest jam you're ever gonna make. Once it's complete and it's thickened, just pull it from the heat. Just pull out that sprig of rosemary. It has done its job and discard. And then just let it chill or cool down to room temperature. This is great because you can make this like a week ahead before the party. You could freeze it or you could just keep it in the fridge and then pull it out. So it's like the hard part's done. For the sandwich, you just wanna toast some bread. Yes, you could get out your toaster and toast like two pieces, or if you're fancy, one of those like four slice bread toasters. I don't have that. So I'm just gonna do it in the oven because it's extremely easy. Just line them up on a tray and then put them right into a preheated oven. It only takes about two minutes per side. They're gonna get evenly toasted and brown. See, I know. You're like, wow, that's like mass toast at once. I know. Just flip them over, put them back in, toast the other side and you're ready to go. Seriously, your toaster could hardly go any quicker. Now that all the components are ready, you can just put together the sandwiches. On half of the toasted bread, you can just put some Dijon mustard and then just spread it out evenly. This is really gonna add a nice tang, a little bit of bite. It's gonna counteract the sweetness of that jam that we made. It's gonna be the perfect marriage. On top of it, you can just layer some turkey. You just wanna buy that sliced roasted turkey in the deli aisle. Don't buy the compressed meat that you're kinda not sure what it is. It says turkey, but it looks like all the other meat in the aisle. This is worth it. It is for a Christmas party. Just buy the good roasted turkey that they actually sliced into meat. Layer it on. I don't like to go too thick because you do want it to get all hot when we put it back in the oven. Shred some smoked Gouda. I like to use smoked Gouda because it adds not only great flavor and yes, it's one of my favorite cheeses, but it also melts really deliciously in the oven. 
So just shred it so it melts even quicker because slices sometimes can be pretty thick and don't melt that quickly. Put some on top of each of the turkey slices. Once your cheese is on, just remove the extra pieces of bread from the tray and put that right under the broiler. At this point, we are just heating the sandwiches through and melting that cheese on top. Watch your broiler closely because if it's like mine, it takes a few seconds to go from melty, gooey goodness to burned, crispy badness. No good. Spread those extra slices of bread with that delicious jam we made. I like to do it thickly because it is the star of the show. And hello, that color. It's like instant Christmas. How else do you get a Christmas sandwich? I know, it sounds weird, but it's true. Once the cheese is melted, just pull them out of the oven. Place the slice with the cranberry sauce right on top. And then traditionally, a croque monsieur would have a white sauce on top of all the sandwiches with melted cheese. I don't want it to be that messy because I'm having a party and people are just gonna be grabbing these and walking around. So I wanna make it a little bit cleaner. So I'm just gonna put some more shredded cheese on top with that smoked Gouda. Put it back under the broiler just so it melts a little bit on top and then pull it out. Let the sandwiches cool just a bit, pull them from the tray and then just slice off all the crust. Now at this point, no, you do not have to slice off the crust. You could just make this for yourself, for your family and eat it like a normal sandwich. But since it is a party, since it is Christmas, since I do like to elevate things just slightly, I cut off those crusts and all the bread just to give it really clean edges and then slice it right into rectangles. You know, it just makes it easy. It makes it have a good presentation, but it's really quick to pick up. Put it onto a tray and serve. These are so delicious. You want them to still be warm. So they have that melty cheese on them, the great jam, that tart, sweet flavors that are just coming together. Guys, seriously, this is such a delicious sandwich and it's the perfect bite. So it's like double duty, a sandwich turned into an appetizer or a bite for a party. Who could want anything more? Make sure to stick around for more great recipes and come back for my videos so you can see all the preparations I'm doing to get ready for my Christmas party. And I hope it helps you do the same for yours. If you want the recipe, make sure to go to the description box below, like, share, subscribe, and have an awesome Christmas party.